Hi everyone, it's Penny. Today is September the 2nd, a Labor Day. I hope you're enjoying your day off if you work outside of the home or if you work inside of your home. I hope you took some time off for yourself. I'm in my craft room and I want to show you what's been going on with me. As many of you know that I have been sick. I was starting to feel sick before the 4th of July. I wound up in the emergency room the 11th of July. And it just went downhill since then. And the middle of August, I started feeling better because they gave me some medicine. It was a third set of medication. So, while I was sick in the bed, I was trying everything to get well besides crocheting or knitting because that was just too much jostling on my back. Knitting is fine. The crochet is a problem. I couldn't knit anyway. So, I discovered ice cream. And ice cream was taking the pain out of my brain. And I was getting some type of a placebo effect with sugar. And one time I had ice cream 10 o'clock in the morning. So ice cream got me through. And DBNY also got me through a lot of that, distracted me from a lot of that pain. I'm going to be honest, I don't even remember half of the stuff I ordered from DB&Y because uh, I was just out of it. So, let me show you what I found on the table that states a date. So, this says the last time I made a video up here was Friday, June the 14th. I know I made a video after that and must was downstairs because I know I couldn't get upstairs. And the only reason why I'm upstairs today is because I'm using Calvin's chair. I should have brought my binder upstairs uh, that I got from the Dollar Tree and I put all of my DB&Y orders in there. I'm not going to say it's out of control because it's actually beautiful. I love it. So there's nothing negative about it. This right here is a bag. One of many. And I have a lot. I ordered so much yarn. I'm going to tell you. I thought I was going to be able to show everyone this yarn. It's too much. It is entirely too much. This bag right here is just beautiful stuff in here. Okay. Let me show you if I can see the date on this one. Bear with me. Look, I'm going to put it right. Look. Yep. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry. What is that saying? Look. June the 27th. I ordered this, y'all. See my address. And it's in a knot. I'm, I can't even... I got this whole bag right here, less than $2. This cartofa, less than $2. This thing is five of them from DB&Y. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I did. I shopped. Let me move you back up here. I don't need any thumbs up. Be, I mean, sorry, excuse me. I don't need any thumbs down because if this is life. This happens. We all get into this situation. And if you try and hide it, it's going to be very stressful. And I'm not into lying to myself. I know that brings on a lot of stress. This is absolutely pretty. Baroque. I brought a lot of Baroque. This is beautiful. Absolutely pretty. Let me see if I can find a price on that. A lot of this stuff, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
they said this was ten dollars but i had a let me see it's not on, on my other one when i first order i can print it when i print out you get the uh percentage off so these was ten dollars but i think i had um 80 85 percent off it so i cannot show all this yarn because it's too much and calvin came downstairs one day and he goes penny and i said yeah because he was taking the bags upstairs he said you can't buy no more yarn i said why not he said because you don't have any space to put it and calvin just built me five shelves i'll show you the wall five shelves and it's all filled up with db and y so i didn't i knew i was ordering every day but i didn't realize i ran out of space so here go my red heart on the floor i had to take this from downstairs because i was overflowing with yarn on the second floor you guys never could see that i cleared off two shelves i have another shelf to clear off this bag right here that's all db and y this bag, all DB and Y. That bag, all DB and Y. That's another bag right here, all DB and Y. Boxes of yarn I ordered. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat in here. It's just the floor, you know. Everything is overflowing. My shelves, they are still neat. Everything is still neat. But the floor, see, I started, Calvin put that shelf of me at the top so I can put my DB and Y um, combs up there because I've ordered, I don't know, 30 or 40 of them. Don't even say nothing because somebody ordered 100 who hit me to it. My knit crate, I'm not on there. I haven't been on there in quite some time. That's good. I'm glad that's over where I only wanted the year anyway. So... Let me just turn you back around. So everything is basically still the same. These are some empty boxes. I did come up here last week and I was able to empty one box. And I was done and I went downstairs. It is overwhelming for me. This is new yarn. And this is the floor. Look. DBNY. Bags. I got that from AC Moore. This is some of the AC Moore and the staple stuff. All those plastic bags back here, those are all DB and Y orders. Calvin put them in the big plastic bags. This is from the shelf I cleared off yesterday. Big old bag of yarn. I got orders on here from Lion Brand that I got the other day when they had 45% off cotton. And I got my Hershner order. I ordered um, Worsted 8. Um, I was supposed to show you that, but I haven't gotten to that. Look at yarn in the corner going off the wall. So, I have a lot of work to do. So it's basically still neat. I just have to get this stuff off the floor and find a home. I don't like these totes. These totes are full of yarn. Um, I like clear totes. And really, I don't like totes at all. I like to have the yarn out. But unfortunately, I'm just probably going to have to use some totes. So the shelf right here is still neat. Everything is still neat. It's just the ordering I've been doing. Mm -hmm. So it's still neat up here. So I just want everybody to see this. Because somebody out there may have a mess on their floor like I do. Honestly, I'm not getting to this no time soon. Um, I'm downstairs now. Calvin is paint and he painted the, the the bathroom on the first floor and he finished the kitchen. It looks really nice. So he has to come up to the third floor 
and work his stuff right down to the foyer. So, and I am trying to clean out the hallway closet. Uh, the the linen is okay, but you know, with medicine and stuff for the winter. So I got to just straighten everything up, check the dates, get rid of the old stuff. And, you know, buy up some cough medicine and VIX and get prepared for the winter. So that's what we do. We are getting prepared to close up the house for the winter. And while I'm saying that. I just hope and pray everybody will be safe. Um, the governor of Florida called it the big D, the storm, and then it is because what it did to the island down in Bahamas is just horrific. So I know it's going to hit New Jersey, um, probably the shoreline, but we having bad weather today. And you can never be too, sh too cautious with these storms. You always have to prepare. So going back to what I was saying is that reason why I'm not going to be up here because I need to prep the house um, for the winter. And that means that we did a big food shopping. We went Saturday and we, we I, I load up, you know, four and five coffees, a massive amount of chicken and and, and stuff like that. So I don't have to worry about anything during the winter. And then I have to cook up a lot of trays of food. Um, and they go in the freezers and soups. Because sometimes during the winter, me and Cal Calvin or I don't want to cook. Um, or we just tie it or, you know, something is good that's cooked in the freezer. And we just pull it out. So that's what... Those are some of the things I'll have to be working on for the next month. And then all of the furniture outside has to be taken down and wrapped up. So, um, I'll probably be in between all that stuff downstairs. I'll try and do a little bit, maybe every couple of days. I already cleared out a box, so that was an accomplishment. So, this next room... Let me show you this next room. I mean, it's pretty neat. It's just the, uh, so, so let me show you with my DB and why. I don't know if you can see. Let me turn the light on. So, actually, this is the bookshelf. So, actually, where the bookshelf is, and it goes all the way down. Those are all shelves he put in the walk-in closet for me. See, more yarn and it's full it's absolutely full and I know if I show you that somebody is gonna um see that's ridiculous but it is okay this yarn right here this is the all of this is um spin right yarn that I got and this is up in the top is um Mandela and some line brand stuff and then I have the cones from Lion Brand. So, here yeah, I think it's yarn in here. I'm not sure. I don't know how this room got like this. And this is probably some stuff T Calvin took out the cubby hole. More yarn. Luggage. And everything else on the shelf is still basically the same. Let's see if I can open up the door. Uh, it's dark right yeah Let's see if I can step back so everything is still basically on neat so it's just when I order and the bags of the boxes come in come just take them upstairs and I say I'm gonna get to them so that's what happened when I got sick I continue to order yarn and matter of fact I ordered yarn today so I think I have two orders coming in and I have some Hersner's stuff that came in the other day. And this right here. This is all the DB and Y cones. And this is um, Cakes of Yarn. Somehow, some reason, Calvin gets bored in the um, winter time. And he takes my Red Heart with Love and he just cake them up. So I know I have about 20 of them. 
and he's probably going to find them and cake them up. Cake them up. He don't do that with the other red heart, just the one in love. And um, I I take the um, label and um, I cut around it so it can fit the cake, and then I add a piece of paper with it so it has all the information still on it. Yeah, and this right here where you have, the, I have that, the check it. Flannel, that's where that store is at. And I'm not even going to show you that. It's nice and neat in there. Everything is on the shelf. And it's all in bags. But, so, I wanted to show this because people think that you have to be perfect in life. And you don't. You just have to be you. So, Life have speed bumps, and mine was I got sick, and I still am sick. I'm still recovering, and I've got massive amount of projects downstairs that I finished. Don't think I don't do anything. I do a lot, but I just I just get caught up in showing the yarn and shopping that once I do that and I get tired, and then I never show you what I finish or what I'm working on. And I've finished several things. I'm working on my girlfriend's baby blanket. I'm putting a a um, ruffle on it. And um, I'm knitting, knitting Calvin's scarf for Veterans Day. I just finished his other scarf for Christmas. I knitted that. Um, I'm trying to clear up some old projects that I started during the summer. Um, I would have finished them again. I got sick. Life steps in. So... I wanted to show this stuff because I wanted to help somebody out there to just feel like they being overwhelmed. You're just going to have to do a little bit at a time and it'll get back nice and neat and pretty. Um, Calvin, matter of fact, Calvin came up here and vacuumed today. So we try and keep it nice and clean. And when... Um, I can get up here and, and organize stuff. See, because he said I didn't have any room. I know I have room. I just need to organize it. And I know how to do that. And shift some things around. So, the main goal of this video is to say that if you're in a situation like me. Now, if you got dishes and pots and stuff in here, I can't help you with that. That's... um. <laughs> that's just gross anyway look at my lot my um premier yarn i got it hanging up we got the merino blend mill ends look <laughs> i gotta hang it up yeah so see stuff like this you can put a little nail up there and hang bags of the yarn up you just have to um think outside the box a little bit So back to my speech. If you're in a situation like me, don't feel bad about it. Just do a little bit at a time. Unfortunately, I cannot come up here because we're closing up the house. Windows have to be washed. Curtains have to be taken down and freshened up. Bedding has to be changed, not sheet. Bedding has to be changed. Carpets have to be shampooed. Meals have to be prepared. Shopping, food shopping has to be done. And I don't I sh I don't go back to the supermarket until like March. See, because when, when the storm comes, I'm not one of those people in line. I have salt and all that stuff. So I prepare. And these are the things that me and Calvin is doing now. So if my videos are the time in between videos are long, just know Penny's working in the house. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm prepping the house for the winter. I know it's just September, but we have a lot of things to do. So I'm fine. You know, you don't have to send me an email saying you worried about me, anything. We are fine. If I don't feel well, I will make sure I let everyone know. So... I just want to show you this and um, give you some encouragement that 
you may see somebody yawn like this and be behind them is a mess and you may think they stuff is perfect. I'm just letting you know. You can see this and it looks perfect, but behind me is a mess. So I'm showing you behind the scenes. So life is, that's life. And I'm a nice, I'm a nice neat, organized person. Um, clean, I like my stuff clean and neat and organized. But when I came up here today, um, just to took a, take a look around, I said, you know something, I need to film this and let everybody know that I my yarn is out of control and my organization, I need some help. Not help for somebody to help me do it, just I need to, it needs, it needs help. I need to organize it. So... I'll just do a little bit at a time and I'm not sure when it's going to be done because I have to do what's important now and what's important is closing up the house. Okay, I'm repeating myself. Just understand what I'm saying, okay? That's all I want to say. This is just a point. Um, I don't need any therapy, no depression drugs or anything. I was sick. I was still buying yarn, and I didn't even realize I brought that much. And it just got out of hand. That's all. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks for listening to me, everyone. Let me know in the comments section, do your area get out of hand? How do you keep yourself straight? Or you don't keep it straight, you just don't care? Or are you guilty about it? Let me know how you feel um, about your, your space area. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. It warms my heart.